so hey people in the last part we uh, completed the processing of leads and now we'll be moving towards the chords so i will just simply take okay now this works So that's the chord. So let me just bring them to the mixer. Right now I'm just doing this very roughly. I will arrange everything once like I feel like need to do that like when i will move towards the breakdown i will just arrange and color and whatever needs to be done i will do that so let's just process them So the processing style will be pretty much same as the leads. I like uh, I'm not doing any kind of magic on this. So like that, how I start again compression. I need compression for you know like. So through image uh, I will just uh, boost the mids a bit and you know like the chords are like uh, always in the stereo feel so it fills up the you know like sides like that how it works. Um, again a low cut uh, you know like I just don't want and high cut around 1200 5000k So it sounds pretty good, yeah. I feel like that. And again, this uh, I just love this. Basically, what it does that uh, it boosts a bit on the right signal and and a bit differently on the left signal. So it creates a nice, you know, like stereo feel in the 
Cent. So we are done with the gods. Hopefully, I will make the drop in this part. Hopefully. So let's just move towards the base. Uh, I don't have the base right now. Where? Yeah. So we have the sub, the grid base, the vowel base and we I will not use uh, like a, we'll use this a bit differently. So this gives knives that punch, you know, like. And I will only grip the the base lines. I will not uh, take the sub base uh, in a separate bus. I will just so the sub base. Just remove everything from the other spot. 200 hertz and then add a sausage fattener yeah no not that that much uh, it's it's fine and the next thing is this stereo and answer and just totally towards mono so you need the sub towards the center of the whole sound it should not interact with uh, the rest of the things so that's why it's in the center and I will side chain this a bit differently okay there we go So right now I'm just removing the end part. What it does is that uh okay, fuck. Uh, oh yeah. So uh the sub has that clicky kind of sound at the end, so this kind of side chaining will remove that it's very annoying so that's why i don't like it let's just work on this these three bases
so now they have their own uh, frequency uh, range they are not colliding with each other so let's just and I will side chain this and just select this one because it's pretty nice and it will not overlap with the kick at, at all and this is like your mix will be pretty clean and like my chromes open up so just ignore that you know like it's crack cracked so just you know like fucking ignore it and i will add this uh, glue compressor i will add this almost on everything and the release is 2.2 because uh, that will fit with the kick The next thing I uh, will do is uh, add this multiband compressor and you will find this preset called uh, base clarity. What it does is basically it, uh, it enhances the mid range like there is compression and there is like this expand mode so it's pretty cool thing. And the next thing is we'll we just EQ it and like I don't want we'll So that how it sounds all together. So, like, we are done. Um, now, on, the next thing is just, uh, uh, you know, like, late, adding the samples and that kind of shit. So, le let me just quickly do that. I've removed a bit of the outer tail and you know like so let's just take this kick there's a lot of thump in it and I don't like it and you can just simply you can even do it till 40 35 it's on here i'm just doing 30 the next thing is uh, i will add a steer in answer and again just that mono now it's completely in mono So just to complement the kicks I will add claps 
I will add different kinds of claps. Yes, I will add. This will be like uh, the high end for the kick. With a very less volume. Um, stay here. And these will be the main claps. Right now I'm doing this uh, very roughly, I will like uh, sort out everything in the next part. <laughs> I hope you're fine with it, because I'm seriously doing it very roughly. I will add some snares in the... Over here, just to like add a variation. This is a pretty dry snare. You will be needing some reverb and that kind of shit. So let's just take to this. It's just too dry. So okay, let's wait a minute. Let's add some reverb. Pretty much reverb. Some decay. some white noise yes white noise so what is the benefit of uh, adding this thing basically it's uh, that's that high end to your tracks uh, and yeah that's the main thing of adding white noise side chain white noise let me just fix this up So right now we are clipping and I will even fix that thing but uh, right now I'm not in the mood to do so. So let's just, yeah, I just, just, just okay. this is just too thick.
and one I will be needing that impact sound as well this will work So you can add some like um, some changes into the base and the chords so what that thing is let me just do it pretty quickly I will just copy this and paste them. And we are done. So this is how the drop sounds into this part. So this was the drop and in the next part I will just uh, fix the whole thing and arrange everything and like you will just see everything is done like I have I would have been done with the breaks, the intros, like almost everything and then I will explain why I have done them and you know like just everything will be in the next part. So hope you guys enjoyed this because this is a really big video for me like as you can see 25 minutes in the last video I spent around 20 minutes and giving a lot of time so I just please just subscribe and even like that video. Bye.